Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your star scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is my weekly what I have been warming. It does not include any of the bring back my bars that I've been doing in a couple day space of really aggressive something here, something there to get those reviews out. This will be primarily I think it's all seasonal melting from the week leading up to Christmas. And so there's lots of uh, post Christmas happiness to report here. So the first thing that I have on my big pile is orange spice and everything nice in a brick. I think this one still hasn't sold out. I didn't check within the last couple days. And you can do this and the Holly Jolly Cider two for 30 still in our get rid of the holiday bricks push. This is very nice. It doesn't have the longevity of some other orange spice scents that I've had in the past from Scentsy because it doesn't have as much spice. Anything that's going to be primarily fruity is going to dissipate faster than something that's got a lot of base notes like woodiness or ambers, musks, and uh, your spices. So this has a gorgeous juicy orange, a lot of vanilla at least to my nose, and just a pinch of spice and it was everything nice right before Christmas. Very good throw the first two or three hours and super happy. So I did this in a lot of the open spaces in the house. And on the same day, I did a whole bunch of my beloved sweet orange and evergreen, which has taken one of the top spots for what I've been melting this whole holiday season. I've gone through many clams of this. This was November scent of the month last year, and it is a absolute home run for me. It has a nostalgic quality. Oh, it's so good. It smells like mistletoe by a Yankee. It smells like holiday greenery. It smells a little bit like being in a holiday greenhouse. And it is a favorite. And it has just a touch of orange, so it went really well with the sweet orange and evergreen. And another thing that I did both in bedrooms and out in the open was Wassail Wonderland, which is another favorite of mine. I've been doing this one on and off for a couple weeks now. And this is the perfect balance of spice and tree and orange. So I have a few clams of this for many years. This was in our sense of the season kind of as a perennial favorite. And then it died a very long, agonizing, lingering death in clearance. And now we don't see it at all, but I still have quite a few clams left. And that is a nice medium level. So those three that I just talked about, I did those a lot in the same spaces, alternate warmers all over the house. And it was so Christmassy, it was wonderful. So another day I knocked out a whole clam of black forest pine, which is one of my favorites for all the way through the winter. You'll see me melt this again in January if we ever get any cold weather. It's like 50-ish and drizzly here in Michigan and it's so sad. This is not holiday weather for me at all. It feels like the end of March and I'm just waiting for sunshine, but what I really want is cold and snow. Anyway, black forest pine, when it is cold and snowy, is such a great winter scent. And it has a nice vanilla layer. It's got some um, pepper tangerine, smoked vanilla, and all these deep, dark wood evergreen smells. Where the sweet orange and evergreen is definitely holiday. This is all winter long. It would be great anytime between November and like March if we get cold weather. And it is long lasting, it's very nuanced, and I really enjoyed that. And I believe on the same day, I was warming some of one of my last clams of Be Merry. I've got a couple clams of this left. This was very popular a few years ago, and they did pull it recently from the catalog one or two seasons ago for fall winter. But it's really nice. And this is a very Christmas time scent. Like I would not want to melt this too far away from Christmas because it's Christmas berries, Christmas greens, very happy. Always makes me think of like a shelf of antique Santa Clauses. That's what I think of when I smell this. Or old Victorian Christmas cards. Gorgeous. Made me very happy. And it was a nice compliment to the Black Forest Pine that day. Another day I went all in with the bakery. And I only have two little cubies left of gingerbread hugs. Which I do not remember what year we had this for Sense of the Season. I have always really liked this gingerbread smell. I don't think it was very popular. To me, this has such a good, truly gingerbread quality. It reminds me so much of the book, the Scratch and Sniff book from the 80s. I think it's called Bear Wakes Up for Christmas. This reminds me of the gingerbread man in that book, and it makes me so happy. So I was, I was brave, and I melted most of this clam. I left two cubes for me to be able to sniff sentimentally. So nice. And then someday, which I'm not sure it was the same day, I was working through some Make Me Snickerdoodle with some bakery. This is one of those scents that we had in our fall winter new releases. It's not super exciting, but I do enjoy melting it with other things as a supporting actor. It's just a really nice, very subtly spiced, 
cookie scent. Not as sweet as sugar cookie, not as mellow as something like your, your gingerbread hugs as far as like all the brown sugar. It's right in the middle and it was good with other bakery things. And I was melting some sweet cream spice. I know this was to balance out the gingerbread hugs because this is a really rich buttercream vanilla with a pinch of spice smell. I got this in some flash sale. It's like vanilla bean buttercream, but more rich. And it's really nice. I would get more of this if I could. It was a very good scent. So then another day I did the direct mix that I kept hyping up all season long for you guys. Very snowy spruce mixed in warmer with cinnamon pine cones. This was like three days before Christmas, I think. I love this mix. It was perfect. It was holiday perfection. Just made you feel like Christmas was right around the corner, which by the 23rd, it really was. Mm. They're both beautiful on their own, so Very Snowy Spruce is probably our most popular tree scent. It has a lot of sweet sap and amber and pine cones with the evergreen boughs. And then Cinnamon Pine Cones is very much a balance of very sweet, earthy pine cone and really sappy, probably spruce branches, or maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly which, which tree is in this. Let me see. I don't know, this might even be balsam. It might be balsam. I'd have to look at the notes again, but whatever tree scent is in here, it's balanced very well with the pine cones and the cinnamon, and it is a true classic. It's very vintagey. I really, really enjoy it, and that was a perfect Christmas day. Now, another day I was brave and I melted most of one of my very few clams of iced pine. I love iced pine and I am a little bit mad that I was silly and I took this out of my club early last winter. I'm going to miss this when my couple clams that I had in reserve are truly gone. There is something about this one that it's very old school sensey. I hope we can vote this back in a couple of years. Oh, it's <coughs> more resinous than any of the other pine smells that we have. And I think that's part of why people don't like it that much, but man, do I love it. And it was just phenomenal. And I really, really enjoyed this. I think this was two days before Christmas, all over the house. And then at one point I wanted to freshen up the atmosphere. So I threw in silver bells in the back room, in my bedroom and a couple other warmers. This is such a classic. It is so beautiful. I'm so glad that I remembered to melt this because almost everything else that you're gonna see is spice and tree because those are my favorites. But this is so unusual with the pear, it is the right kind of pear. If you hear me talking about Sensi's pear scents, whatever oil is in this, I wish they'd put it in other things because it is the most beautiful, mellow, creamy pear, almost like there's vanilla. I think there's like some musk and the candy canes and everything in here with the pear. Oh my goodness. This is so good, you guys. So if you haven't melted silver bells yet and you've got some, please put it in between Christmas and New Year's, you'll be happy. And then another thing that I was doing just kind of all over the house was part of a clam of blue Christmas. And I think I was doing this some with my um, Wassail Wonderland. This is tree and a lot of orange peel and heavy, heavy spices, but it smells very different than Wassail Wonderland. They're pretty complimentary. This has the most unusual, hard to describe, super heavy Christmassy spicy scent. And it's the closest to sugar plum berry if you have that, but just there's tree in here too. It's really good. And this has a very distinct following. Some people just have a passion for this. I enjoy melting it, but I have others that I like better. But I did enjoy putting in a few cubes of this this year. So then I've got Christmas Day, and then I have all the Yankee things and some things that I was doing in my basement other than the bring back my bars. So here's one that some people will cheer and some people will roll their eyes. I had put in Blood Orange Spice to do my warm review of it, and I, I do not care for that scent at all. I did that in my basement uh, either yesterday or two days ago, and at a certain point, I had had enough hours to know for sure that I still hated it, and I took it out. And I was looking through my bin of sort of mostly used up clamshells, and I found two cubes of fall feeling. And I thought, you know what? I was so excited about this scent in August and September, then I wasn't as excited about it and I kind of put it on the back shelf because I felt like it got a little bit too strong. I threw in the last two cubes of this fall feeling downstairs and it hit me just like it did the first time that I warmed it. And I'm like, oh, it's back. I don't know what my deal was in the middle here. Maybe in October I was just burned out on it and I was mentally just not processing it well. I'm getting me some more fall feeling. It was gorgeous. And my younger daughter came upstairs and said, Mom, what are you warming? It smells a lot better than what was in this morning, which is funny because she's the one that always said she liked blood orange spice. 
she doesn't like it anymore, but she loved this fall feeling. And I will be putting this back into my like favorite from 2023 kind of grouping. I just had a really bad experience one day where I don't know what clamshell I was melting of this, but it was very bitter. And it reminded me actually a little bit of Blood Orange Spice. And I'm like, ah, I don't need that anymore. Thankfully, that was just a fluke. This is so good. So it is a fall smell, but it's got cranberry in here. It's got spiciness in here. It might have some ginger. I'm not sure. It's got juniper. It's got this really deep leafy, very late fall scent. And I will definitely be getting more and even melting it into the winter because it was awesome in my basement and felt like almost Christmassy fallish, even though I thought I was only going to melt that in the middle of the fall. So sometimes you need to melt something a few different times at different season spaces, like different times of the year before you give up on it. Because as I keep rambling, I was so excited about that. Then I didn't like it at all. Now I'm back to being excited about it. Go figure. So now what I have left is Christmas Day, all my Yankee, and a couple of teddy bees that I squeezed in between all the other stuff. So Christmas Day, my very favorite scent of all time, and you all know if you watch me, is Cozy Fireside from pretty much anybody, anywhere. I also love Winter by Bath and Body Works. Those are a couple of my like favorite smells of all time, but that doesn't come in a wax smell. So Cozy Fireside. It just goes straight to my heart. It makes me feel like I'm a little kid again at my mom's house waiting to open my stocking. There is just something about this, the balance of the spice. There's definitely ginger in here. There's sort of a really sweet but smoldery kind of hearth scent, but without a lot of smoke. There's like no smoke in here, but yet it still feels hearthside. I don't know how they do that. It is very, very beautiful, nice and strong, gives you that glowy, happy Christmas feeling, and it went all day on Christmas. Then I always pair that with Christmas Cottage because I like Cozy Fireside much better, but I do really love the way that those two mix in the air in the home. So the raspberry and the Valencia orange that's in this, and you guys have probably been hearing about this from all different consultants all season long because Scentsy has pushed this in a brick in a Sensepirations collection in it feels like everything this year. This is such a classic with that really nice almost simmering potpourri of clove with the sweet raspberry, the other spices, and the oranges. Very very good and it brings out the best of Cozy Fireside. And then last but not least I have a few clams of spiced berries which I will melt in the winter also. I did throw this in my club for a while, but I realized I'm probably only going to go through like one clam a Christmas and I have several now because they were in my club. So I pulled it, but spiced berries is so beautiful. It's got like this frankincense and myrrh. And yesterday I was melting Simply Patchouli and this was in my bedroom and I'm like, spiced berries is almost like patchouli mixed, the Simply Patchouli mixed with more spice and a lot of berries. That is interesting. As far as I know, there's no patchouli in here, but it's just got a really heavy exotic spice and those beautiful dark Christmassy berries, and I loved it. It was so good. So then we go into Nostalgia Factor, which is all of my Yankee stuff that I will save for right before Christmas. My husband's favorite scent of all time is balsam and cedar. Like, he'd melt this September, October, November, December. I mean, he's a man. He's not super careful about seasons and, you know, nuances and all that. He'd probably melt this all year. I don't know. Oh, it is so happy. This definitely has sweetness. It's got the balsam. It has the cedariness. It probably has some amber. It is so, so good. So classically Christmas. Another one that I got through two or three clams of because I wanted to get, I wanted to get it done, not because I don't love it, but just because I have too much wax, is Holiday Hearth, which was from a couple years ago. I would love to get some more of this. I don't know if they're still making it. This has the smoky quality plus all the spices and it goes for days in my basement. And last week we did quite a few family movie nights and one of my kids said, oh mom, it just smells like Christmas downstairs. And this is what was in. So it captures that little bit of smokiness that makes it feel old fashioned and all of those spices. I don't really smell evergreen specifically, but it's probably one of the layered notes in here just absolutely gorgeous and we enjoyed it very very much as a family i threw in a couple of pieces because these are a little bit different they're not exactly cubes of the sparkling cinnamon which is a perennial favorite yankee offers this every year and it's just a really nice cinnamon it doesn't throw quite as well for me as cinnamon bear from scentsy but this is more special i don't know what the extra notes are in here 
but it says sparkling cinnamon and somehow they do that. They make it feel as though the cinnamon is shimmering with like, I don't know, sugar crystals or something. It's gorgeous. If you have never tried this, it's a really, really happy scent. And it's, it's very old school, 1980s kind of Christmas. And it always makes me happy. Now, another one that was new last year, and again, I did not see this available this year where I shop for Yankee, is Holiday Zest. This is similar to the other Hearthside one, but it's got more of the orange peel, but it still has the smoke. This is really good too. And I am nursing the last two cubes of this in my new fabulous Flurry Warmer over in the kitchen. I didn't change it as I was doing all the different Bring Back My Bars. I just left that warmer so that when I clean out all my Bring Back My Bar stuff, I can go back to melting like spicy stuff. And I didn't want to lose this because I think it's my last clamp. So I'm holding on to that. If you like spicy and you like subtle all at the same time, if you find any of this anywhere, I would say get it for Christmas. It's so good. And then one that wasn't actually my favorite. Last year they did this silver sage and pine. I did a couple cubes in one of my kids' rooms and I did some mixed out here with cinnamon pine cones one night. This, this is somehow almost peppery to me in a way I don't like. Silver sage and pine. I think it's just the sage. I've tried several different things from different companies where they're mixing sage in with the Christmas tree. And I guess I'm just not super into that. I'm not really a fan. Those two things just don't go together as well for me as other things with sage. Because I love sage as a note. My mom has a candle called Holiday Sage, which I've never been able to find in a melt like this that's by Yankee. That's one of their like classics that you see in the big vintage um, memories. I forgot what the collection is, but they always do these special ones where they're old scents that they'll bring back in jar candles. And Holiday Sage is beautiful. But I don't think it includes any pine or fir because I don't like these two together. So there's that. And then last but not least, I did a couple of things from Teddy Bees. My very favorite new scent for this season for Christmas is Christmas Past from Teddy Bees. I did this in my bedroom for one day. It is just so beautiful. It's got apple. It's got fallen leaves, crushed pine, sweet balsam. It's so nostalgic. I love this. I'll probably be melting more of this in January too because yes, it's very Christmassy, but it's also good for winter. I almost did in my entire tub of Christmas is coming. I've got a little bit left and I should just warm this next week or downstairs or something to warm it, to use it up because I also got a loaf for next year. Oh my gosh. This was one of my favorite scents all season long where one day I walked into the house and I was doing one clam of Cinnamon buttercream by Yankee, not Yankee, cinnamon buttercream by Scentsy and warmers of this. This has gingerbread cookies, cinnamon sugar, fluffy waffles, and a little bit of Fraser fir and cedar. Oh, it was just the most wonderful scent moment in my home. One of the standouts from the whole season. And this was a part of that day and I loved it. And then I'll be melting a lot more of this in January and I'm not going to do it, but I was tempted to go back and get another loaf if it was still available and the leftovers that, uh, are still on the Teddy Bee's website trying to get rid of everything from the RTS. This smoked ginger snaps, the vanilla in here. Oh my goodness, is this good. It smells okay on cold. You warm this thing and it's just like amazing. So this is warm gingerbread spice. I like my gingerbread spice if you can't tell. Cardamom, charred wood, or roasted pumpkin, and Tahitian vanilla. And when I get more of everything nice from our Bring Back My Bar in January, I'll probably melt that with this. Not mixing, but in alternate warmers. Oh, you guys, this went for a couple days in my Florida room, and it was beautiful and very, very good for wintertime. So that's Smoked Ginger Snaps by Teddy Bees. That is everything other than Bring Back My Bar that I've been doing for the Christmas week. Please let me know what was your special either group of scents or special scent that you did on Christmas Day that is near and dear to your heart. So have a great day, guys. God bless. And it's time to start thinking clean and new year and take down all the Christmas junk and eat healthy and all that great New Year's stuff. But we'll talk about that next week. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.